Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you three methods to boot into Windows Recovery Environment or WRE in Windows 10. Recovery Environment is an advanced menu used to repair startup issues, restoring system, doing a system reset, booting in safe mode and many other troubleshooting options. It's worth noting that the Windows Recovery Environment should be enabled in your Windows, otherwise, you will need a Windows installation media such as DVD or USB drive in order to do that. There are two videos in description to show you how to enable Windows Recovery Environment in running Windows or while booting from Windows installation media. Video Contents How to reboot into advanced startup options from desktop in Windows 10. How to boot into Windows Recovery Environment from powered off computer without Windows installation media. How to boot into recovery environment using bootable USB or DVD drive. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell icon and like the video. Also, don't forget to add a motivating comment to encourage us publishing more useful videos. Method number 1, how to reboot into advanced startup options from desktop in Windows 10. To reboot into Windows recovery environment, do the followings. Press and hold the shift key from keyboard. Right click on start icon then select, power option. Select restart option while holding shift key down. Now you are in Windows recovery environment. When selecting some options such as command prompt or system restore, you will be asked to enter the password for the selected windows. Change the keyboard language to the default language of your windows. If you have no password, just click on continue option without typing anything. If you have a password for the selected account, type it then click continue button. If you see the error message saying that the password is incorrect try again, you have to boot from WIM and do what you need in the WRE, because you will not be asked to enter your password. This issue is common only in some build numbers of Windows 10. Second method, how to boot into Windows recovery environment from powered off computer without Windows installation media. To boot into Windows recovery environment without installation media, do the followings. Turn off the computer completely. Turn it on again. When the Windows logo appears with a circle of dots, press and hold the power key for 8 seconds or until the device turns off completely. Repeat previous two steps until appearance of preparing automatic repair. The device is now in the Windows recovery environment. There is another method to boot into recovery by just pressing and holding shift plus F8 keys from keyboard after appearance of manufacturer logo, but it not works in some new computers. You may need to press F8 key repeatedly while holding shift key down. If shift plus F8 keys not worked, you can try FN plus F8 keys instead. If the Windows logo appears, that means you have failed to press the F8 key correctly, and you have to power off the computer completely then try again. If both pair of keys not work, press F8 only or read the instructions from your screen to know which key that can bring you into advanced boot options menu in your laptop. This is the list of boot menu keys for most common laptop brands. Acer, ESC, F12 or F9. Asus, F8 or ESC. Compaq, ESC or F9. Dell, F12. E-Machines, F12. Fujitsu, F12. HP, ESC or F9. If ESC works, you may need to press F9 afterwards. Lenovo, F8, F10, F12, or Novo button. Other key combinations, FN plus F11. Samsung, ESC or F2 or F12. Veo, ESC, F10, F11 or assist button. Toshiba, F12. If nothing appears on screen or if the suggested keys not work, you have to search in Google for the key that works for the specific model of your computer. Some laptops have a specific key that can be used to open boot menu. For example, Lenovo laptops have a specific key called Novo or One Key Recovery Button. This button usually locates next to the power on button or next to the charger port. When pressing this button, your laptop will open boot menu from which you can select to boot into system recovery, boot from the Windows installation media like DVD or USB or to open BIOS settings. Remember that the Windows recovery environment should be enabled with intact files and partition in order for your PC to boot successfully into advanced recovery menu. So if you failed even after pressing the correct key in the correct time, that means your recovery environment is disabled or corrupted and you have to create a bootable USB in order to boot into recovery environment. There are videos in description will show you how to create a bootable USB using your mobile or in another computer. Third method, how to boot into Windows recovery environment using bootable USB or DVD drive. Before starting, you have to know some important information. There are two different types of firmware that guide operating system to start computer normally. The first one called BIOS or legacy firmware and is present in most old computers, and the second one called EFI or UEFI firmware and is present in most recent computers. 
Also some new UEFI computers have options to support BIOS environment. In computers with BIOS firmware, the disk drive should be in an MBR scheme, and in computers with a UEFI firmware, the disk drive should be in a GPT scheme, otherwise, the computer won't boot, and the disk drive will not appear in boot menu. So, if you have a computer with BIOS firmware, the bootable USB should be in an MBR disk scheme in order to boot from it, and if you have a computer with UEFI firmware, the bootable USB should be in a GPT disk scheme in order to boot from it. The disk scheme can be changed during creation of the bootable USB in Rufus or similar tool. In UEFI computers that support BIOS firmware, you can change boot mode to legacy support in order to boot from a GBT disk scheme. To open advanced recovery environment from Windows installation media like DVD or USB, do the following. Turn off the computer completely. Connect the Windows installation media. Turn on the computer. Once you see the manufacturer logo, press the F12 or another key from keyboard to enter the boot options. This is the list of most common keys to enter the boot menu for different brands. Move to the DVD or the USB and then press the enter button. Once you see this message, press any key immediately to boot from installation media. If the computer failed to boot from the USB or you received an error message saying that an operating system wasn't found, boot into boot menu and select the USB option that is flagged with EFI or UEFI USB device name. There is a difference in location of symbols between US and UK keyboards. So you have to change the keyboard language to your system language to avoid errors when typing some symbols and letters. If not sure, see if you have a keyboard with symbols distributed like this, change keyboard language into US layout. And if you have another symbols distribution, then change the keyboard to UK layout. Click on the next button, then click on the repair your computer option. If you are unable to boot from Windows installation media, power on the computer and press F2 key repeatedly to open BIOS settings. This is the list of common keys used to open BIOS settings for different brands for desktops, laptops, and notebooks. Once you are on the BIOS menu, take a video for the entire BIOS settings using your mobile before doing any changes, so you can revert new changes back to previous settings once you finish troubleshooting. Use arrow keys from keyboards to navigate between panels and items or read the instructions from the bottom of BIOS settings. Locate secure boot or fast boot and disable it. Go to boot tab and change USB boot option to enabled or on. In some Asus or similar laptops with UEFI BIOS menu similar to this, you have to enable compatibility support or CSM mode in order to disable secure boot. In some computers, you have to change boot mode to legacy support, then enable USB legacy or any related settings if available. If you are unable to open boot menu on step number 3.d, you have to change the boot order so the USB takes the first position in the list. Use F5 and F6 or follow the instructions from your screen to change the USB boot position to the top. In Asus UEFI slash BIOS utility and similar menus, you can drag and drop the USB drive into the top of the boot list using your mouse. Navigate to exit panel and select, save changes option. Also you can save changes by pressing F10 or similar key according to what you can see in your BIOS menu. If the USB drive not shown on the boot list, make sure that the USB is not disabled in boot menu or any menu. The USB scheme is applicable to your disk scheme, i.e. MBR or GPT. The USB drive is not corrupted or unbootable. In some cases, you have to save changes and reboot into BIOS settings in order to see the USB drive on the boot menu. Also you can try to plug the USB pen drive to another USB 2 port in your computer. Some mentioned settings may or may not available in your computer, or may be available in other names rather than the mentioned names. Search for any of the following settings and make sure it's enabled or set to on. CSM Legacy Support Legacy CSM Launch CSM. If you have a UEFI slash legacy boot option, set it to both or legacy only. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a motivating comment and to subscribe.